Animation is the highest paid skill in Hollywood. From insane action sequence to high speed car chase, you always feel the joy of watching such complex animations. And even after rise of AI, industries are still hiring experts and paying them lots of money. Today I'm going to share Hollywood level animation secrets which is used by professional animators. And if you are a complete beginner then don't worry, I will explain everything from very basics. So let's begin. In every Hollywood level movie, animation is not just a movement, it is a visual storytelling. There are two main scenarios, camera and object or subject animation. Camera is like eyes of the audience. It shows the journey of a character from position A to B while maintaining certain pacing and speed. Directors always play with camera position and rotation by instantly shifting pace. If it is a horror shot, director will intensify this feeling by making a slow and steady camera motion to sustain Sustain that scary emotion. It is also noticed that focal length or focus shift in certain situation create dramatic tones. Object or subject animation which means actual movement of a character or a vehicle or anything inside your movie. This is where audience get attached or align themselves with the character or a certain things. A happy kid will never just walk, he will always dance, swing and radiate joy with every step. Similarly, in complex sequence like Transformers, vehicles are not only moving Moving, but also dynamically reshaping themselves mid-action to fight with enemies. Characters also interact with other objects in your seat. Maybe they are holding a weapon or they are playing football or a magician playing with cards. Not. Uh, I want to reach 1 million. Likes. This is not a filmmaking class but it is very important to know what kind of scene you want to create. Now as a beginner you definitely need to know animation principles. After learning this you can start creating your character. Then comes up rigging. But what is rigging? A rig is made up of bones and this individual bones placed inside your character mesh. In order to animate the character we have to first connect our rig to our mesh and then we can move our bones and it moves our our character. Simple, right? There are two primary systems in rigging, IK and FK. It stands for inverse and forward kinematics. Just like our real world body, our bones are connected. In 3D, we call it a bone chain. FK simply means moving individual bone and the rest of the chain in the forward direction will move with that. But IK is exactly reverse. It moves the control bone and the chain of the bone in the reverse order will auto calculate its position and rotation so we get realistic results. Animators use both IK and FK to achieve perfection. Control bones are additional bones which is going to control the rig. Now you are ready to create character poses and basic animations. But it does require some patience and good amount of reference. And if you are little lazy then you can go to Mixamo, upload your character and get bunch of animations for free. Of course you can also download bunch of characters from their library. These are few more platforms forms to find pre-animated character. After good amount of practice, you reach intermediate level where you can create walk cycles and basic animations like jumps, flips and even facial expressions. To reduce your efforts, you can also use motion capture tools like Rococo or Wonder Dynamics. Not everyone can afford motion capture suits, so this is where we can use such tools to reduce our efforts and save bunch of money. You can even capture your facial animation data with help of live link application in Unreal Engine. If you want, you can get pre-animated character from Fab to your Blender and change the animation by doing it manually or by retargeting. There are many tutorials talking about how we can share our character in between softwares specifically in your game engine like Unity or Unreal. But there is not single tutorial talking about how we can get our animated character from game engine to a Blender or Maya anything. So I 
have figured out a very effective way to do that. I will speed run this part now. Go to Fab, find a character and download. Open Unreal. Drag character in world. Create level sequence. Drag character into level sequence and select the animation which you want to bake. Right click and select bake animation sequence and export to animation sequence. Open baked animation sequence. Click this export asset preview animation data. Now right click on the static mesh, asset action, export, select GLTF format. Open blender, import your animation sequence and static mesh. Unparent static mesh from its rig and parent with animation sequence. Now you have animated character from your unreal to blender. Of course, course you cannot edit this animation but you can generate a new control bone and create entirely new animation now it's time for you to become professional do you really think that all this professional animators use blender or maya or unreal to do this work well my friend you are absolutely wrong they use dedicated animation environment pixar for example use something called as presto which is its own custom in-house software and it is not even available for public but few months ago i found this very powerful free tool and yes i know this exists from very long time but i found it recently because there are very few youtubers who use this software it is called as cascador now it's been around two three months i am using this and trust me when I say this but Cascador is one of the best animation software I have ever used. You just can't change my mind. They have so many tutorials on their YouTube channel and I feel very sad because their highest watched tutorial have not even 1 million views. This is just unacceptable and no it is not any paid advertisement or something it is just my own personal experience that I find this very amazing. The time I invested learning Blender and Unreal Engine to do 3D animation is just crazy but I can do all that stuff within few hours using only Cascador and nothing else. Recently they launched their AI in between keyframe assistant which is like a very big deal if you start using it because every animators know what is in betweening and how it is going to be very useful so I, I love this feature. And that was the secret guys professionals use very dedicated animation software rather than overwhelming themselves with bunch of option in blender or unreal engine and it does require some time and patience to master these techniques because see it is not about software it is about the core concept of animations and once you understand that you are unstoppable and of course as you master your character or object animation you will easily able to master camera animation as well but camera animation and its pros and cons comes under filmmaking category it does have more to do with psychology and storytelling rather than your actual art so if you want me to create an in-depth video talking about that please let me know in the comments and i hope you learned something today thanks for watching i will meet you next time